Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I see you've landed in Anchorhead. Tatooine is a vast and dangerous desert of a planet, and I'm afraid you can't count on having Republic support during your mission there. I work better on my own anyway. I never said you'd be completely alone, Lieutenant. In the absence of military assets, I've arranged a local contact to assist you in your mission. Ole Claren, the mayor of Anchorhead. Mayor Claren may not be a soldier, but he knows the area extremely well, and can put his city's resources, whatever those may be, at your disposal. I'll talk to the guy. Be sure to remember that this operation is top secret, Lieutenant. I told Mayor Claren only that you're undertaking an important mission, which is all that he needs to know. Understood? I'll proceed with caution, General. Very good. That's all I have for you at the moment. Proceed with the operation. Garza out. That puts the tally somewhere around 64, sir. But we've still got some volunteers digging through the rubble to be sure. 64? So, so many. So much death, and for what? Why is this happening? What have we done to deserve this? We still don't have any leads, sir, but I'm sure... Excuse me, who are you? This is the mayor's office. You can't just barge in here without an appointment. I'm a soldier. The mayor knows I'm coming. You must be the lieutenant. The one General Garza told me about. I am so thankful that you're here. Please, Lieutenant, I need your help. My city, the people of Anchorhead, need your help. How can I be of assistance? Someone is attacking us, Lieutenant. Bombs have been going off all over Anchorhead, more than a dozen just in the past week. We have no idea who's behind them. No threats, no demands or warnings. Innocent people are being murdered without any explanation. Dorn. One of our objectives is a bomb expert, correct? Affirmative, Lieutenant. According to the personnel files I've reviewed, one of the most skillful in the galaxy. Really? Do you think our problems might be related, then? If you find this bomb expert... Sir! Mayor Clarence, sir! There's been another bombing! An apartment building over in District 7! Oh, no! No! How many? Do we know yet? No, sir. But it's going to be bad. A lot of people lived in the building. A lot of families. I'll proceed to the scene at once, Mayor Claren. After the first explosion, there are always more, all in the same area. If you hurry, you might get there in time to stop them. Please, Lieutenant, protect my people and I'll do anything I can to help your mission. Please, hurry! <laughs> what? Who, who's there? Just hang in there, Bennett. I'm Kana. I'm your neighbor, remember? You're going to be okay. Just try not to move, all right? Uh, oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> but my leg... Uh, uh. What's the situation here? I'm... I'm not sure. It all happened so fast. I, I can see to this man's wounds. Sir, can you hear me? I need you to tell me your name, sir. What? What? I... I'm Bennett. Are you a doctor? Is he... Will he be alright? Can you take care of him? The sergeant will get your friend patched up. I'll have this man stabilized momentarily, but he will still require rapid evacuation to the nearest medical facility. Thank goodness. We're so lucky you arrived when you did. I was outside. I just stepped out, and all of a sudden, I'm face down in the sand, a half a block away. D droid It was a droid. Walked in the f front door, and boom, everything went white. A bomb hidden inside a droid. No wonder no one saw it coming. Yes, I, I'm sure of it. Oh, oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Over there! In the doorway! Is it over? Are they all dead? Don't worry. You're safe. You did it! You really did it! We're safe! Bennett, we're safe! Uh, good. Good. We owe you our lives. I wish there were some way we could repay you. As a soldier of the Republic, it's my duty to help. You're a true hero. I'll never forget what you've done here today. None of us will. Thanks again, stranger. I stopped the bombings. There were no casualties beyond the initial blast. 
You really did it? Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you so much. The city of Anchorhead owes you a great debt. Excuse me, Mayor Claren. I I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but we have an urgent holocaust. Someone who claims to have vital information about the bomber's identity. What? Really? Put them through, Cone. Oh, uh, hello there, Mayor Claren, sir. My name is Vanto Basrin, and I have vital information for you regarding... I'm sorry, is that... Sergeant? Is that you? Sergeant, it's me, Fuse, from Ward Mantell. Remember? Advanced bombs like these can only come from one man. Look, I... This isn't what you think it is. Not... Not exactly. I know you might not believe this, but... I'm really, really glad you're here. If anyone can shut down the imps and stop the bombings in Anchorhead, it's you. Pointless flattery won't make me trust you, Fuse. What? I, no! No, please, you don't understand. It, it's not like that. Lieutenant, who is this guy? Can he really help us stop the bombings? I cannot discuss this individual or my mission, sir. Please, I don't have much time. If they catch me transmitting, they'll... It won't be good. The Imperials brought me here to design bombs. Desert planet, middle of nowhere, you know, makes sense, right? Then Colonel Gorick, the imp leader, well, he wants to test the bombs, but he won't use the empty deserts. He wanted a live testing ground. He chose Anchorhead. That son of a... He's killing innocent people just to test your damn bombs? That's the Empire for you. Not every Imperial officer is a murderous psychopath. But still... Yeah. Pretty horrible. As soon as I found out... I told Gork I wouldn't do it. Never. So his men locked me up in here. Gork's afraid of Tavis, or he would have just killed me. Only you can stop Gork now. Let me help you. Let me tell you who's putting the bomb droids together. Why doesn't Gork construct the droids himself? He doesn't have the resources, so he hired on some help. A group of Geonosians is building the bomb droids. When each batch is finished, they're sent to the coordinates that Gork provides. The Gene Oceans are holed up somewhere outside Anchorhead, but I, I don't know where the exact location is. Guards are coming now. I have to hide the transmitter before I'm caught. Fuse out. Roger that. Look, Lieutenant, I don't know the whole story, granted, but I think he was telling us the truth. The Gene Oceans Fuse mentioned, a big gang of them, moved into an abandoned town nearly two months ago. They haven't been a problem, no worse than scavengers. We, we never imagined they were involved in the bombings. Sounds like I'm paying these guys a visit. If you kill the Geonosian's leader, it should put a stop to all of this. But there are so many. Getting in won't be easy. Havoc Squad can handle anything. Good luck out there, Lieutenant. What I'm saying, my dear friend, is that the latest objective was not destroyed. Have any other plans you'd like to share with us? Republic soldiers, eliminate them, Kyvax, at once! <laughs> So, so sorry, Mayor Claren. I... I just... I never imagined it would come to this, you know? Innocent people dead, all because of my designs. I, I, was, I was so stupid. Well, you're working for the right side now, okay, buddy? We're going to put a stop to this. The Geonosians were definitely working with the imps. I know, it's... Well, thanks for trusting me after everything that's happened. I really do want to help. Colonel Gorick is, uh, <laughs> he's pleased about you being here, Lieutenant. He has the entire operation on high alert. Will the alert become a problem for our plans? I, uh, I think it's actually going to help us. You see, the base's location is a total secret. I, I have no idea where we are. The only people who have the base's coordinates are Gorick's commando teams. He'll, uh, 
You have to hit one of those teams to get the coordinates. Just point me in the right direction and I'll move out. When the guards were talking earlier, I... I overheard them mention a commando team stationed in a cave near the Sand People's settlements. The commandos were deployed to test some of my designs on the Sand People. Mines, booby traps, that kind of thing. So the Sand People are, you know, pretty riled up right now. I'll stay alert. But, uh, it may not be long before Gork decides to pull out entirely, Lieutenant. He's worried that more Republic reinforcements are coming. So... Try to reach the cave and get the coordinates off the commandos quickly, before the opportunity is gone. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Halt! Identify yourself immediately! In the name of the Republic, I order you to surrender. Enemy contact! Open fire! <sighs> surrender! I surrender! Please! All I need is the location of your base. Tell me that and you can go. Base. Base coordinates. Here. On this data. Data pad. Please. Mercy. Mercy. You're free to go, soldier. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Lieutenant. Lieutenant, can you hear me? This is Oleg Claren. Are you there, Lieutenant? I read you loud and clear. He was just called. He said Colonel Gorick is pulling out. He's going to run for it, Lieutenant. That scum killed dozens of innocent people for his tests. Those people deserve justice. Their families deserve justice. Please hurry, Lieutenant. Gorick has to pay for what he's done. That imp scum won't get away from me. You've got him on the run. Now finish him off. Good luck, Lieutenant. Claren, uh... Clearing out. Uh, right. Lieutenant, you made it just in time. Gorik called for a full-scale evacuation. He's already at the hangar in the back of the base overseeing the evacuation, and he has my bomb designs with him. Please, you have to get to the landing area and stop Gorik before he escapes with my bomb designs. Gorik won't escape from me. If anyone can do it, it's you. Good luck, Lieutenant. Warning. Warning. Self-destruct sequence initialized. All personnel must evacuate to the hangar area immediately. This is not a drill. Countdown sequence initialized. Warning. Warning. Facility detonation imminent. Oh no, we're too late. The entire base, it's gonna be vaporized. We're... we're out of time. There must be some way to shut down the self-destruct sequence. You'd have to go to the command center to cancel the detonation. And, well, you could even unlock myself from there. But, by the time you reach the command center and stop the explosion, Gorik will have escaped with my bomb designs. That can't happen. I'm sure I can stop the explosion and get Gorik if I move fast enough. No. No, you have to leave me. By the time you cancel the self-destruct, Gorik will be long gone. Please, there isn't time to argue. It's down to me or the bomb designs, and... Well, there's only one good choice there. I've made my choice, and I'm getting you out of here. Forget about me. Stop Gorik. Keep the Empire from getting my designs. That's all that matters. We'll track down that imp scum before he gets too far. You can't know that for sure. And how many people might die in the meantime? Please, Lieutenant. Don't let Gorik escape just for me. Please don't do it. Hey, Lieutenant, I... I guess I should thank you. You saved my life, after everything. I did what seemed right. Well, I'm still not so sure it was the right thing to do, but it... Well, thanks. Still, it... Well, it's hard knowing my designs might be hurting innocent people. I helped Gorik. Help, helped a monster. It's unforgivable. What you've done may be unforgivable, but you can still be useful. Useful? I guess that's something. Okay then, let's, uh, go. Consider me officially surrendered, Lieutenant. I'll stay where you can see me. It's a long trip back to Coruscant. I'm ready, Lieutenant. Squad, hold up! Get me a solid perimeter ASAP! You must be the commander of Havoc Squad. I'm Lieutenant Tasser, sir. 43rd Advanced Recon Squad. 
What can I do for you, Lieutenant? General Garza rerouted us from a two-week sightseeing up on Ryloth to assist you, Lieutenant. Looks like you've already taken care of things, though. The mission was a complete success. Garza mentioned a possible prisoner for us to haul back to Coruscant. Is this the guy Garza was talking about? Take this man to Coruscant immediately. Understood, Lieutenant. I guess I'll... see you around, then. Good luck. Good luck to you, too, Fuse. All right, people, let's move out. I want a full sweep through this facility for intel. Good meeting you, Lieutenant. Maybe we'll see you around later. Let's go, people! Lieutenant, you made it! Please, have a seat. Tell me what happened. Was your mission against the Imperials a success? I can't discuss the details. Oh. Oh, uh, yes, of course. I understand. Top secret mission, of course. Well, could you at least tell me about Fuse? I mean, did you rescue him from the Imperials? It was close, but I managed to save him. Oh, that's great! He seemed like a pretty decent guy. I'm glad he made it. So, your general called while you were gone. I filled her in on what I knew. Nice lady. Stern, though. General Garza is an exemplary officer. She definitely seemed to know what's what. Comes with the job, I guess. Anyway, she wants you to call her from your ship before you take off. She was pretty insistent about it, actually. I hope there's nothing wrong. There's no predicting with Garza. You accomplished some great things here. I can't imagine she's anything but pleased. Well, Lieutenant, the people of Anchorhead owe you an incredible debt. You've saved countless lives from a threat we never could have imagined. I managed to scrape together a small reward for you. It's the least we could do to thank you. No reward is necessary. That's generous of you, Lieutenant. I know the people affected by these bombings will really appreciate it. So, I guess this is where we part ways. It's been a real pleasure having you here, Lieutenant. An honor. We'll never forget what you've done for us. The Republic prides itself on protecting the innocent. Well, be sure the Republic knows how much we appreciate the help. Good luck, Lieutenant. You'll always be welcome in Anchorhead. Thank you for calling. From what I hear, you've been very busy. We have quite a bit to discuss. First, congratulations on stopping the bombings in Anchorhead. Mayor Claren was both impressed and grateful. Well done. Glad I could make a difference. You've represented the Republic very well in this. Good job. I also understand that you not only located Fuse, but routed an entire Imperial Research Facility in the process. Lieutenant Tasser filed his report only moments ago, actually. I'm sorry he and his men couldn't arrive sooner. Lieutenant Tasser was very helpful, General. I'm glad to hear it. Tasser reports that you brought Fuse in alive and without resistance. Cardin will be pleased. He had begun to doubt our commitment to bring the Havoc traders in safely. I never could have pulled this off without him. Yes, Mayor Claren indicated that as well. I'm pleased that Fuse could see the error of his ways. What about the bomb designs that Fuse created for the Imperials? Were you able to retrieve a copy? The Imperials fled with the designs while I was saving Fuse. I'm glad you managed to bring Fuse in alive, Lieutenant. But letting those designs slip away will carry a heavy cost. Still, your mission was largely successful. You are to be congratulated. <laughs> 